What's up guys, Mike from Willie and Company. Uh, we got a video for you today. It's based off a well, a four inch well that we drilled for a house, a domestic well for a house uh, earlier today. And uh, it's a well that's designed to uh, go on a horse and a half pump. So it's gonna pump about 28, 29 gallons per minute for a residential family. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. We, we are gonna cover all the important aspects of drilling a well and how we at Willing & Company drill a well and how the things that we do to make sure that our clients are gonna have a good uh, quality uh, potable well. So thanks for joining us and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, guys, so we're on site here today. We're drilling a four inch PVC well, and uh, we're towards the bottom of our hole. And what I want you to understand basically on this type of setup with mud rotary, um, we're sending water down the drill rod, and then it goes out of the bit and comes up the water annulus. So you can see water bubbling up, and that's bringing the sands that we're, we're drilling up with it and we shovel those sands out of the pan. And, and we're looking at those sands for size, color, texture, and that helps us determine what water uh, aquifer we're in and the, the quantity and sometimes even the quality of it. And, and that's a big dictator of where we stop the well, and uh, that's why we, we analyze those soils. All right, guys, as you can see, our driller has got his uh, his well screen out here. He's got the, the tip of it primed, and he's getting ready to glue the cap on. And uh, what that's going to allow us to do is, is, is we, we do a closed system. So he's going to get that cap on there, and we're going to put that end of the screen down the well annulus first. And, uh, and then he's going to carry that on over there, and he's going to attach that to the the well rig and we'll drop that down to well annulus and that'll be the bottom part of the well. Uh, that well screen's got lots of slots on it and machine slots and that's what allows water into your well. So we got the well drilled but now we got to get the rod out of the hole so we can get the casing in. So if you pay close attention here we're going to break these rods apart. We got most of them out, but we're going to break the last couple apart here, and then we're going to rack them. You see how he breaks them apart? We use the turntable to break them. And now we're going to set them up here on the side of the rig and watch as it falls into place. These rigs are built to try to help make things as easy as possible. That's why they cost so much money. Now he's going to disengage this poppy. Watch how this works. Great piece here. That's when you pull up on it, it locks into place, helps us lift that very, very heavy rod. Now, if you look at the bottom here, when he breaks this piece apart, this is a coupler, but it's not onto another drill rod. It's on our drill bit. So that's the bottom of our setup. And you can see the drill bit there on the bottom. So what he'll do is he's got that broken apart, and now he will go ahead and take the bit out. All right, so we're setting the casing here. We got most of it set, and he's putting the, the glue and primer on the casing, and we're connecting the pieces together. I think this should be our last piece of casing here. And you can see that's a 20-foot stick, and we're going to set that on the piece that we have already going down into the ground. And, uh, and then he's going to slide that on down. And then what will happen is, is I think the well should come to a rest right about there. Yep. And now he will go ahead and cut it. And that will be the, the top of our well. We'll cut it down a little bit more for a finish uh, appearance later on. But that's good for construction purposes. 
So the well screen gets well gravel placed around it, and that's what we're doing here. He's cutting the uh, bags of well gravel out uh, open, and, and the gravel's being displaced down the well annulus and coming to rest around the well screen. And when it does, it pushes the water back up the well, and that's what you're seeing. And, and he'll kick the well every once in a while, and, and what he's doing there is getting the gravel to, to uh, settle and, and kind of pack down around the well screen, and that's, that's forcing the water to come on up out of the well screen. It's getting everything to tighten up and pack, and uh, the, uh, the more gravel he adds, um, that the, the better the gravel pack will get. Now, he'll get to a point where the gravel pack comes over top of the screen, and we won't get that well to, to do anymore, and that's when we'll come to a stop. All right, so here what we're doing is we're sticking a tape measure down the well so that we can get the exact depth of the well to that top of that casing. And there's an important reason for that, and that's so we can make sure that the gravel pack, which you'll see that we'll measure down beside the outside of the well here in a minute, we want to make sure that the gravel pack is the exact right height and we're aiming anywhere from three to five feet above the top of the casing and the casing is going to be 10 foot in this case so we're going to want that gravel pack to come up above the casing you know and like i said about three to five feet and the reason for that is to allow for any settling or any discrepancies in the gravel pack and and that's because most of the water that is introduced into the water system comes into the water system through the top of the screen. So it's very vital that the top of the screen has a very solid gravel pack. And as a company, this is one of the things we stress very, very much. We have to have that gravel pack, uh, you know, very solidly constructed at the top there. All right, so we're finishing up now. And what we need to do is we need to get the rig out of the way so that we can develop the well. So as you can see, he's, he's taking the mud pan up, and we need to get finish getting the rest of that mud out of there so that we can put the pan on top of the rig. And so he's going to carefully push that pan and let it come over on the ground, and we'll go ahead and beat the rest of that mud out of there. We don't want that uh, mud being carried around in the pan, so he's going to hit, hit that out of there. We'll go ahead and put this pan on top of the rig. As you can see, the pan's been pulled up on top of the rig, and now he's going to lay the boom over. And we're going to go ahead and get this rig on off the job site. So this is one of the most important parts of the well drilling process, and that's the development part. And uh, you can do everything right up to this step, and if you don't do this right, you have nothing. Uh, the development process is very, very important. Um, it, you have to develop a well properly. And as you can see, what we're doing is we're using high volume air and we're putting it in the bottom of the well. And, and what's the, what that's doing is it's, it's, it's creating pockets of air that push water both up. And when that water comes up, it'll also get a lot of water that comes back down. And, the, and what we're getting is a flow through the screen that's, which is at the bottom of the well. So now that flow is going both in and out of those slots in the screen. And so we're removing all the, any drill cuttings, any muds, anything that's in there will now come on out. And you'll see as it moves along, it'll reduce in color and sediments and all that will clear up. So you have to do this long enough and well enough to make sure that well develops into a nice potable well. Now, one thing that we can bring to our clients is, is the fact that we have the ability to overpump a well at 50 to 70 gallons per minute, and that's above and beyond uh, the, the fact that we, we use air to develop the well. And that's, that's just something that we can use to make sure our wells are going to be the best. So here's one of the most important parts of, of drilling a well, and that is the grouting process. And the grouting process is where we apply uh, a bentonite, or you can use a cement-based product 
in order to, uh, around the well in order to to seal the well from uh, allowing any contaminants from getting from the surface down into the aquifer. Here you can see what we're doing is we use a chem grout machine which uses air um, to mix and, and pump and we're filling it with, with water. And uh, it's very important that you use the exact right amount of water and we have a line in the inside of the machine that tells us how much to, to fill it to. And then uh, and what we do is, is we, we mix the water with a little bit of polymer which you'll see might put a little bit of polymer into the machine and start to mix it up and get it uh, agitated. And uh, the polymer, what it does is it, it serves as trying to delay the hydration just a little bit so that our equipment doesn't get plugged up while we're trying to pump. And uh, after he gets the polymer into the machine, the, uh, he'll go ahead and, and take the uh, bentonite mix and he'll add that in. And like I was saying a while ago, very important that you get that bentonite to water ratio perfectly because uh, that's how you're going to get a nice solid plug around the well casing and that's that's how you ensure that you don't have any traveling from from the surface down into the aquifer of any contamination so he's got it all mixed up and now what he's going to do is let it out in the hopper and start pumping it out our tremu line and our trimming line, which is our black poly pipe you'll see in a second, goes all the way down to the bottom of the well. And uh, we're just going to pump uh, several bags. A bag could do about 15 feet of annulus here. And we're going to go from the bottom to the top, or, or from the, the gravel pack, the top of the gravel pack, to the, to the surface of the ground. And that's and we do that because uh, Delaware has recently changed its code to require that. So the entire well annulus from the gravel pack up has to be filled with grout. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll start that trimming pipe all the way at the bottom, and we'll start pumping bag after bag until we get to the top. We'll work that trimming pipe up to the top. As you can see, the bentonite is starting to work its way to the top. And it's just traces of it, not, uh, not much, and that's nowhere near enough. You'll see it come the end of the video. Uh, we'll have a whole lot more bentonite surfacing before, before we're complete. That is just barely enough uh, to let you know that it's, uh, it's happening, but uh, we're just getting started. So uh, Mike is working the trimming line up in the well annulus a little bit, and now he's going to go ahead and pump some more grout down the well, and uh, he's making bag after bag. Uh, probably take about three bags on this well, maybe four, and uh, he's going to keep pumping that down the well annulus. As you can see, he's putting it in the hopper, pumping it on down. And he's working that trimming line. You got to be quick in this process because you don't want that grout to set up in your pumping equipment. As you can see, it's starting to come up around the well pretty thick now, um, but it's not going to be thick enough until that well casing is really stiff and you, you don't get much movement. So if you take a look at this well, what you have is that well is nice and tight with grout, as you can see, and we were talking about earlier. And, uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to do the final step on this well, and that is uh, uh, attach the well tag. And the state requires that we, we attach these tags, and these tags identify the well according to the state's log or the well permit number. And uh, what we use is a wire strap, wire band, which is a, uh, has some holes on it, and, and that goes around the tag. And we uh, have a tool that allows us to fasten that nice and tight to the well casing. And that allows us to uh, um, fasten the, the well tag uh, to the well casing. And as you'll see here in a second, that uh, gives us a nice uh, finished product for the well so that we can tell um, that well is associated to the proper well permit. And then we just do a final check on depth, uh, depth to the water, depth of the well. And guys, that's it. You have a final four inch well.
All right, guys, so you got to see everything that we at Willie & Company do uh, when it comes to drilling a well. And as you can see, there's a lot of procedures that go into drilling a well. Uh, there's a lot of work, there's a lot of machines, a lot of expense, and uh, there's a lot of knowledge that's needed to accurately, safely, and uh, you know, successfully get you a good well. And that we take a lot of pride in the way that we do things because we do them the right way. And, and I hope you can see that in the video. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments and c concerns, please leave them in the field below. I hope that uh, uh, you help us uh, grow by sharing our video and subscribing. And thanks again uh, for your support.